In this video, we're going to be talking about bypass humidifiers, and in particular, we're going to be reviewing the April Air bypass humidifier, and we'll be covering some of the differences between steam and bypass, and why you would opt for a bypass humidifier instead of a steam humidifier. And at the end of this video, there'll be a link to another video that talks about steam humidifiers. So if that's something you're considering as well, we'll make sure to link that video at the end for you. Now, if you're not familiar with what a bypass humidifier is, it's basically a miniature swamp cooler pad that's connected to your supply or return air ductwork on your central air, and it adds humidity to the air that is circulating through your ductwork when your furnace is running. Now, the way that it works is water runs down a water panel, and there is a duct coming off of that water panel connecting the supply or return depending on where the humidifier is mounted. Now, what this does is it passes warm air off of the supply duct that is being blown when your furnace or heat pump kicks on and that warm air blows across the water panel causing it to evaporate and add humidity to the air. Now the humidifier that we're reviewing today is the April Air 500 or 600 series. One of them is just a larger footprint for larger homes and if you were interested in purchasing any of these products uh, we'll make sure to link these in the description for your convenience. And also if you're enjoying this content so far please make sure you smash that like button for the algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It takes a lot of time and energy to put out content like this and it's a free way you can show your support and is much appreciated. Now the biggest benefit with a a bypass humidifier is simplicity and price. These are a great budget option and will add humidity to the home, but not as efficiently as a steam humidifier will. For example, in my house, when the steam humidifier kicks on, you can feel it coming through the vents. The air is noticeably more moist and it feels different. Bypass humidifiers will definitely make a difference, but it is going to be more gradual of an increase in humidity, whereas a steam has a much higher capacity. So if you're going to choose a bypass humidifier, this is a great option, especially for smaller homes. For example, if your home is under 3,000 square feet and you are not looking to add humidity for the purpose of musical equipment like guitars or pianos, then a bypass humidifier is fine. The benefit you get from any humidifier is going to be a reduction in static electricity as well as your skin doesn't feel as dry. So for example, if right now you find yourself shocking yourself every time you touch a light switch or the wall while rubbing your feet on the carpet, oftentimes this can be rectified with a humidifier. This was our main motivation for our house because it would literally frustrate me and I got to the point where I got shocked so hard one time it physically hurt and I was getting PTSD every time I tried to touch the light switch. But bypass humidifier will definitely add some humidity and be able to get you into the range of 30 to 35% relative humidity. Now that number will vary slightly, but the bottom line is most of the time in the winter, people are running humidifiers to get around 35% relative humidity, as long as that is below the dew point and not causing condensation on your windows. For example, if you set your humidity too high, like at 50 or 60%, you could get a lot of condensation on the windows, and this will actually damage the windows if left in that condition over a significant period of time, because you'll just have a ton of moisture condensing and collecting on your windows, which ultimately damages the wood. Now, one of the downsides of a bypass humidifier is that they actually only work effectively when the furnace or heat heater is running and the reason is because you need warm air passing across the water panel in order for it to really evaporate effectively. Now we've had people ask us to set up bypass humidifiers to work with the fan only and they hardly add any humidity and if this is something you're looking for then it's best to just go with a steam humidifier. Now one of the benefits of adding a bypass humidifier by comparison with steam is that you don't have to run a dedicated electrical circuit like you do with a steam humidifier which is an added expense. Expense. So if you're looking to add a little bit of humidity to your home, reducing static electricity, and maybe add a little bit of moisture to the air in the dead of winter when it's very dry, then a bypass humidifier might be a perfect option for you. If you have a large home, meaning anything that's over 3,000 square feet, I would definitely steer you towards a steam humidifier instead, or if you are trying to add it for the purpose of maintaining proper moisture content in your home for things like expensive wood furniture or wood flooring or expensive musical instruments like guitars or pianos, but for basic humidification, a bypass humidifier is a great option. Now the reason we use April Air's product lines is because they are widely available and we can get them at almost any parts house anywhere. Um, Honeywell also makes a bypass and steam humidifier, so if you're wanting to go with a Honeywell product, that's fine. You can do that. Just know that most comp 
tractors opt for April Air. The April Air 500M and 600, I've linked below. They have a few different features that I'll touch on now, but you're basically getting a bypass humidifier. The 500 comes with a manual humidistat, and that is always my preference because it's much easier to set and you will have much less issues in the future. Also, if you need to replace the humidistat in the future, which you probably won't need to, but if you do, a manual analog humidistat is going to be a cheaper option. The 600 comes with manual or automatic fan control, but it's just a more expensive digital humidistat and it's kind of unnecessary on a bypass humidifier. This is 100% standard on any steam system, but that's because it has blower on activation. However, on my system, I don't even have a humidistat because it's directly integrated with the thermostat control. This is not always feasible to do, keep in mind, because in my instance, the location of the thermostat was in such a way that I could run a new wire uh, in order to get that many communication wires and 20 24 volt wires running to the furnace and to the humidifier from the thermostat. But the bottom line is that a manual humidistat is a great option for a bypass system because you're just looking to add a little bit of humidity and blower on activation is an unnecessary feature. That's not really going to give you the results that you're looking for in a bypass system. The April Air product line is very reliable and a bypass system is very cheap to operate. That's one of the benefits because there's technically only two moving parts. The first is a solenoid that allows water to to flow over the water panel when there's a call for heat and humidity from the humidistat and from the thermostat. And the second is the humidistat, which is a basic uh, open or closed circuit that determines whether or not the system is calling for humidity. And the nice thing about this is that these parts are in stock at most parts houses and even sometimes at places like Home Depot, if you want to get a solenoid valve, oftentimes they'll have a universal solenoid valve in stock and all the replacement parts for these products are also also available on Amazon as well. And my point being that they are very easy to service and easy to get parts for and generally very reliable. Now, the most common wear and tear part is going to be the solenoid valve. These go bad every five years or so, depending on usage and how hard your water is. But other than that, these typically operate pretty worry-free. And if you happen to be in one of the areas we service, like Denver, Colorado, or Phoenix, Arizona, you can actually schedule an appointment with us for free. We come out for free for all first-time customers, whether that's for a service call or annual maintenance, or if you're just looking for an estimate for system replacement. And there's actually a link in the description below where you can actually schedule online at your convenience, as well as an up-to-date list of the cities and states that we service, so you can stay up-to-date when we start servicing your metro. And as promised earlier, there's a video popping up on the screen right now with a link to our review of the April Air 800 steam humidifier that goes over the model and whether or not it's a good option. So make sure to check that out if you haven't done so already, and we'll catch you on the next episode.